Hi, welcome back to another O level video by Educator Singapore. So this time, previous video, we actually talked about what is how to find the equation of tangent using differentiation. Now we're going to find out what is how to find the equation of uh, normal to a curve using differentiation. Now the thing is that what is normal? Okay, I mean uh, we uh, we looked at. Uh, what tangent was so if I have a curve which is usually given by let's say I call the equation of the curve as fx right y equal to fx this is the equation of the curve and then there's this point a which you can see around here we usually saw that the tangent which is probably the slope of the curve at that point is given by a straight line like this maybe if I redraw it and draw it nicer it, it looks it look it looks something like that and it is at the point a where the point a is given by x1 and y1 now what normal simply is once we have the tangent the normal is simply a line passing through the same point but perpendicular okay i really need to draw better lines but uh, yeah so it the normal is a line which passes through the same point a which is given by x1 y1 but it's perpendicular to the tangent so this is the normal this this line over here it's the normal so let's just call this the n the normal and t is the tangent now how do you go about finding the normal it's pretty simple i mean you can find the slope of the tangent easily by differentiating fx as we saw so when we know that when lines are like perpendicular to each other if if there are two lines with the slope m1 and m2 where m1 over here is uh, perpendicular to m2 so the relation between m1 and m2 would be given by minus 1 or we can say that m2 is minus 1 over m1 so basically if we can find the slope of the if we can find the slope of the tangent over here uh, we can e easily work out what is the slope of the normal and we know the normal passes through the same point so we can find out the equation of the normal so so we start looking at an example okay so um, over here instead of the general fx the equation of my normal is given by y equal to x cubed plus 3x square at x equal to minus 1 so the first step I do is I know the x coordinate already over here I would like to find out the y coordinate so the y is given by if you have minus 1 minus 1 to the power q plus 3 times x square so 3 times x square minus 1 square which is 1 so it's basically turns out to be minus 1 plus 3 which is 2 so basically what I have to find out is the normal at the point minus 1 comma 2 now how do I go about it so as I know the slope of the tangent is given by differentiating my original equation so my dy dx is would be 3x squared plus 6x now my x is over here is minus 1 so if I substitute this minus 1 back into this equation I'll be getting 3 times minus 1 square plus 6 times minus 1 and 3 times minus 1 squared is just 3 plus 6 into 6 so uh, we can write this as uh, minus 6 so 3 the, so the slope of my tangent is minus 3 at the point minus 1 comma 2 but again as I say this is a normal and so the normal the slope of the normal would be given by if m2 is the slope of the normal is given by m2 is given by minus 1 divided by the slope of the tangent so let's call the slope of the normal m here it's given by minus 1 divided by the slope of the tangent which is minus 3 so it's 1 over 3 so we right now know that the normal has a slope of 1 over 3 and passes through the point minus 1 comma 2 which is was given over here we worked out over here so if I apply the equation y minus 2 divided by x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3 I can simplify this to get the equation of the normal so simplifying this I get 3 y minus 6 is equal to x plus 1 just cleaning it up to make it look good 3y this minus 6 goes over to the other side is equal to y plus 7 so what we have over here finally this equation is the equation of the normal so just to recap we learned that the normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the same point 
So since it's perpendicular, we can easily find out its slope when we know the slope of the tangent. And we know it passes through the same point, so we can just go through it and work out the equation of the equation of the normal. So that's about it.